Okay, guys, uh, let us consider also revisions. We are going to continue with our exam revisions still on our algebraic expressions. So they were given some typical exam questions that we are going to consider 15 marks for that. All right, so let's consider the first part, which was having three marks, add these two. So we're given to add this expression to this expression that we are given. So considering your addition, do not even worry because you do know that whenever you are adding or subtracting, you are supposed to consider the like terms, just like that. You're supposed to consider your like terms. So let's take as it is our first ex ex expression. So that is given as 3x minus 7x squared plus a 4, like that. Add to this. All right, so we're going to add 3 plus the 2x minus the x squared. So this is what we have. So now let us consider uh, the like terms. Remember, same variable and same power. So we have got the part of minus 7x squared considered to this term of minus x squared. We also consider the part of 3x here to this part of 2x. These are like terms. Then also the constants, the four and the three together. So this is what you are supposed to consider in your simplification. All right, so let us consider the part of x squared. Uh, there is minus seven x squared minus one x squared. So this is minus seven minus one, minus seven minus one, which is minus eight. But considering that, there is x squared, so it will be minus 8x squared, okay? Let's consider the part of x. There is x here, there is x. You add the coefficients 3 to 2, so that is 3 plus 2, and 3 plus 2 is going to give us what? 5, and x. You must consider it was having x, so that will be 5x. All right, let's move on to the numbers. The constants, the 4 and the 3, these are constants to be considered. So 4 plus a 3, that was going to give you a 7. So at the end, this was our final answer. These two terms cannot be added. They are unlike terms because this is of different exponent. There is a 2, there is a 1. So these cannot be added. These are unlike terms. So like that, guys, you've got three marks. Okay. Uh, sorry for that. Let me just do like this. Supposed to erase here. You see this thing, guys, of this time you're using a PDF. This time you're using a picture. All right, no problem. Let's see. 6.2, you are given. Uh, 6.21, we have to consider the brackets. All right, so let us see our question uh, properly. Three marks for that. They were given. Uh, 2x, all right, that is 6.21, all right, so we've got uh, 6.21. So we are given uh, 2x into the bracket of 1 minus x plus y like this. Then that's minus x into the bracket of y minus 3 plus 2x. Okay, remember that when given brackets, you must distribute throughout by the term or the number, whatever that you have, that is outside of that bracket. So considering the first bracket, you must consider the term outside of that bracket, which is the 2x. Considering this other bracket, you must consider the term outside of the bracket, which is the minus x. So the minus x is supposed to multiply everything in this bracket. The 2x is supposed to multiply everything in the first bracket. Bracket. All right, so let's expand. 2x times 1, that is 2x. This is 2x times 1. It's just going to remain as it is. Minus 2x multiplies the minus x. I mean the 2x and the minus x. Remember, if you're multiplying, the bases which are the same. Okay, 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2. But the part of x there, you're multiplying the bases which are the same, you must consider adding of the exponents. So that's x to the exponent of 1 plus 1, which is minus 2x squared. 
So that is going to give us minus 2x squared. All right. There we have got another term to consider also the 2x to this y inside. So that's 2x times y like this. So this is simply going to be 2xy. You're just going to combine these terms as they are. All right. Then on this other term, again, minus x multiplies this y. So it's going to be minus xy, just like the previous case. All right. Let's move on. The minus x multiplies the minus 3. Minus, minus, that's a positive. So that will be positive 3x. The minus x mod multiplies here the, uh, the plus. So you must consider the negative multiplying a positive. What is it that you're going to have? That's a negative at the end. So x and x, that will be x squared. Just like what we saw here, x and x gave us x squared. So it's going to be an x squared at the end, minus 2x squared. So at this stage, you can consider the like terms, the terms that you've got x to the exponent of 2, x to the power of 2, which is this term. Also, this term, it is x to the power of 2. The terms with only x, there is 2x here, there is a positive 3x here, you consider this. The terms with xy, there is xy here. There is also xy here. So these are to be separated as our like terms, all right? So we can start with whatever part that you want. You can start with the part of x. It's up to you. The 2x and the 3x, these are like terms. So 2 plus 3, that is going to be uh, 5x, all right? Let's move on to the minus 2x squared, this part of x squared and x squared. So it's minus 2, minus 2, which is minus 4. So that is minus 4x squared. We move on to the part of xy and xy here. There is a 1, so 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1. Take note, 2 minus 1. That is going to be 1, but it has got what? xy. So 1xy is same as what? It is same as xy. So this was it for three marks. I don't know, guys. I don't know if you're together here. So you must consider uh, the part of the like terms. There, there, we do not have like terms. These are of different exponents. So we cannot add, we cannot subtract any terms which are not like terms. We can only add or subtract if they are like terms. Take note for that. All right, let's check what we have on the other part. So we're just going to quickly consider uh, this other part, which is on 6.22. There we are given, uh, if you are to consider, that is 4a squared uh, into the bracket of minus 3a to the exponent of 3, everything over minus 6a to the exponent of 4. So in this case, what you can see or what you can consider is that we can expand the brackets just like a times there. So you're multiplying four times this. So it's four times a minus three, which is minus 12. Four times minus three, that's minus 12. Then you move on to the part of a, that is a squared and a to the exponent of three. If you're multiplying something of this nature, the bases are the same. You add the exponents. So that is going to be two plus a three which is to the exponent of a 5. So that was going to be minus 12a to the exponent of a 5. The bases are the same. You're back to the laws of exponents. Everything is divided by minus 6a to the exponent of 4. All right, the negative, negative are the same, can cancel. Remember, 6 can be divided into 2 and into this uh, 12 two times, or 12 divided by 6, that is going to be 2 times. The bases are the same. And what is that you're doing? You are dividing. There is a division there. So it's a to the exponent of 5 minus 4. You subtract the exponents because the bases are the same and you are dividing. So that's a to the exponent of 1, which is same as what? Which is same as a. Just like that. So our answer will be 2a. So these are the typical questions, guys, to consider. 6.23. Again, we are given uh, the 6.23. We have got a 12x squared 
minus 4x, everything divided by 4x minus, there is 10x squared minus 15x on this other hand, divided to 5x. So you must consider that, yes, we talked about dividing, separating of these terms that you're given, but the negative here is going to affect everything on the other hand as it is. So you must consider that it is just like we have got a bracket. The moment that you separate, remember you're supposed to separate each and every term here. So that is going to be uh, 12x squared over 4x minus 4x over 4x like this. The moment you subtract and separate these terms, the minus here is not affecting this only term. Remember, it's a fraction. So the moment you separate, you must also consider putting the brackets so that you are showing that the minus is going to affect every term that you are going to separate inside. Remember, you're going to have uh, 10x squared over 5x minus, uh, this will be 15x over 5x. But consider this minus affecting every term. So you must open a bracket there. All right, 12 divided by four, that is going to be a three. So this one is going to give us a three. The bases are the same, you subtract. So that's two minus one, which is one, which is same as what? X, all right? This one and this one are the same. This one and this one are the same. So that'll be a minus one. So they is same as we've got minus a bracket, five into 10, that is gonna be a two, the same X and X squared there, we're gonna have X, the X and the X cancels, five into 15, that is a three. So we've got minus three. But remember what I was saying about the bracket. So it simply means there is a number outside of the bracket, which is the minus one that you are supposed to distribute into the second bracket. That is, we can consider, okay, the first part as it is, there's nothing that has changed there, 3x minus one. Distribute by a negative one throughout. What are we going to have? That's negative one times x uh, times 2x, which is negative 2x. You do the same thing, the negative one, and the negative three, negative, negative, that's a positive. So that will be positive three. Then at this stage, we can collect our like terms on the simplification, remembering that we can add or subtract like terms. So in this case, the constants on their own, the, uh, the terms with X on their own. So you can add or subtract. So this is three X to 2x, 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2, that's 1. But there is what? There is x there. So 1x is same as what? It is same as x. Minus 1 plus a 3, it is same as 3 minus 1, which is 2. And these two terms cannot be added. x and 2 cannot be added. These are unlike terms. You cannot add these two. You're done. So the separation is playing a role. Then after that, collecting of like terms so that you can be able to add or subtract. Remember your addition lies on the like terms. So if you can consider that, that means you can add, subtract any combination. All you just need is to separate your terms. All right, find the value of this part, given that if X is two and Y is a three, so what is going to be the answer if we are given this situation? So let's see. We have got x over 2 plus y over 6. And we are given the x value that it is a 2. So it is same as 2 over 2. Plus the y value are given there. That is the y value is minus 3. So that is going to be minus 3 over a six like this. So remember, this is same as we've got a bracket there. So we can simplify. What are you going to have? This is two over two. You can just leave it like that. Two over two, then plus and minus, that is a minus. So that is gonna be one over two. So this is one over two. Remember, if these denominators are the same, you can subtract or add the numerators as they are, that is the top of the fractions. So simply subtract two minus one over a two. So simply two minus one over a two, which is one over two. 
So you can consider like that you could have divided this one two over two, that is one minus a half. One minus a half, that is a half. You're simply removing a half from a one. You will remain with a half. So the simplification thereafter is in your hands. How are you going to simplify it? Uh, that one, it is in your hands. You can choose no matter the way that you understand. But these are the typical questions that you must expect in your final exams. Uh, from Maths Zone African Motives, till we meet again.